Hey, what's up, radio? Welcome to episode number 111 here on season number two. And today we are getting into Stash Recap April Edition. So these videos are meant for educational purposes only and not meant to be taken as financial advice. You are responsible for your assets and to properly protect them. So always do your own research. This month on Stash, I actually had a nice little rebound. I mean, that's still to say that I didn't get that much growth because for the past few months, I've been basically putting all my deposits into park my cash, which by the way, right now is at, at 15%. So I only got another 10% to go until I get to my target percentage. And from there, I'll start putting my money into real estate tycoon. Last month on the stash account, I was at almost 7.71%. Now at the close of this month, I'm at 9.38%. So as you can tell, that's, that's, that's some pretty good growth and to keep you up on the on the single stocks well yeah you know i still haven't touched them as of a couple days ago i calculated my year-to-date return on stash and it currently sits at a negative 0.73 percent which honestly is like nine dollars or, or something like that but specifically focusing on this month my account grossed 55 dollars but again if you minus the two 20 dollar deposits I made, you, you get a, a total net growth of $15, which is a total net growth of 1.22%. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the account. It's kind of like weird that, that, that it's open like right here. So I can't like just jump around on the screen. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this is the overall portfolio. Obviously it's going to be a couple days late because the percent is not the exact same, but we'll go ahead and look over the portfolio just a little bit here. Still delicious dividends at 25%. Park my cash, like I said, is at 15%. And those are the two target percents that I'm shooting for right now. As far as balance goes, it still increases. Obviously, February, March, April, I had a little bit of a setback compared to the growth that I had from June to about January. And then we'll go ahead and look at the actual account history. I started off the month with two dividends, one from Uncle Sam, and then another one from Park My Cash. On the fifth, I made a $20 deposit, which I bought Park My Cash, obviously, and then I got paid a dividend from Public Works, subscription payment to Stash, and then Park My Cash purchase based upon the dividends that I was paid. And then I bought more Park My Cash with other dividends that I was paid. Dividend from the conservative mix, a dividend from the moderate mix, a dividend from the aggressive mix, and a dividend from the long-term mix, who would have guessed? which I, I bought some more park park my cash another twenty dollar deposit into stash in which i bought delicious dividends because it was at 24 percent bringing that delicious dividends back up to 25 or 26 percent and then i was paid a dividend on slow and steady which i turned around in may and bought some more park my cash so as you can tell that's pretty much what i've been buying for like the last like two three months is park my cash or, or delicious dividends. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the stash coach. So right now I'm at 170 points out of 200, probably because I don't have auto stash on and I don't have an auto deposit on, which is what they always get me for. Keep smart save on, which I don't have on, and keep auto stash on, which I don't have on either. So outside of that, I mean, 170 out of, out of 200, I feel like it's, it's still at least it gotta be a B. So I'm passing, like, come on coach. What, what you're going to do. But that's pretty much it with the overall stash account. I, I'm really happy with it. I think that once I get the percentages all figured out, I'll start to see a, a bigger amount of growth. But right now it's going to take some time and to, to really restructure that account before I can move forward. However, we'll go ahead and leave it right there. Let's jump into the question of the day, which is what's your best example of fake it till you make it? I mean, the best example for this is is got to be a first date or a blind date because on a, a first date or a blind date you're really just trying to enjoy it for what it is but still like make sure that the other person is not really uncomfortable but then if you like get unimpressed or are not attracted to them or whatever it may be you really just gotta fake it till the end of the date and then like never talk to them again. Anyways, just just some thoughts right there. But like I always say, if you got any question regarding Stash, Acorns, Robin Hood, as well as general investing advice, business Etsy coaching, Post those questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe right up here and check out my stash recap March edition. Check out this other video right here. And as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs>